Guys, welcome back. Today we're going to do Lab Rats, issue number two from DC Comics by John Byrne. Uh, yeah, the cover, this, this guy here looks um, a little bit like the Puppet Master from the Fantastic Four. That reminds me a little bit, so that's fun. Uh, we go in and we have a flashback because something happened. And this, this little girl is very upset and this young boy wants to help her to get away from what they are in now. Why? Because they are being chased by... Fairy tale characters, giants, dragons, dwarves, uh, death, <laughs> and much more. Um, but then before we go into this, we're going back to the compound. So this is after, and this girl is still, you know, he's damaged. He's been, you know, um, helped by... I believe the, the owners of this facility, because they are here, well, basically they are literally lab rats. Uh, you want to know what that is all about? Check out my uh, issue one review on my channel. Uh, and, you know, if you like what you've seen, subscribe and all that jazz. And leave a comment as well. It would be nice. Anyway, so um, so she's here and, um, and, and, and she, her name is Trilby. And Trilby is, uh, you know, wants to have some rest because he is, you know, wants to watch he has seen out of her head. And uh, so these people are saying, okay, go. we start at the beginning, Trilby. Um, and um, let your mind work its way through the sequence. Because um, we're going we're gonna to have a recap of what happened. So these guys are on the leaf. And... Um, because of what happened in the last issue. And these guys says, hey, you know what? You have been to some traumatic events and now you can, you know, do have some, you know, go have some fun. And I know a dress where you can go to unwind. So they are going here to Wonderland and Wonderland is, uh, is, is, uh, is something else because the advertisement for this, this um, how do you say, what, what is it called? A... Um, amusement park yes that's probably it so everybody that doesn't like Wonderland uh, gets a million bucks <laughs> so they are very confident that everybody goes in have the time of their life if you know what I mean so and then they are here and they look at this and then thinks I hey, do wow what is this is this a hologram this looks so real right it looks great, by the way. But then, then um, so they say, is this a hologram? No, silly, it's all real. And then there's a, I don't know, a fairy or something. And um, this fairy says, Wonderland is the place where all your dreams come true. And we're your personal guides to Wonderland. And um, it says, they're the fairies, like out of a storybook. And, and, and this guy, I believe he's more the cool cocky, level-headed guy. I'm not sure if he's the leader, but he thinks he's, uh, they are holograms and this, this fairy tale a fairy says, no, no, we are just real. So one of them grabs them and they are getting upset because they are real. And then they are being greeted by, well, a, a woman called herself Mother Goose. And she says, hello, children, you must be Robert's little friend. Now, who's Robert? Robert is, I believe, the guy that's um, we come a little bit later to, I believe this, it's, uh, damn it, where is it? I believe it's this guy, you know, this, this leader of this facility where they are being, you know, ex well, not experiment at all, but they have some um, dangerous adventures and these are the ones that have to find out and, and, you know, go into the experiment. But now they are being thrown into something else, I think, and, um... Because the mother says, uh, or one of them says, Quinlan, that's Robert, I believe Robert Quinlan, told me our contact would be a woman named Abigail Goose. My real name, yes. But when your name is pronounced Goose, <laughs> yeah, okay, so it's Mother Goose. So one of them says, the kid says, you created this place? Not without help, of course. The finest genetic engineers, okay, um, in the world would work on the creatures who populate my wonderland. And um, she says, if I didn't know any better, I swear I was walking through some ancient Central European city. Um, but before she can go any further, she gets, I don't know, some kind of a call and she must disappear to somewhere. She says, hey, I need to attend someone. I'm coming right back. 
And uh, so the kids are behind here, and we see all these flying creatures in this woods, uh, in this uh, in this town. I mean, and it seems that um, Wu, that's this guy, he's vanished, and he thinks Glada was able to sneak away. Those little fairies may claim to be our guides, but they smell more like uh, more like watchdogs to me. So he's going investigating, and he found some Annika and a shaft. So he goes down there, and it's very big, and we see this laboratorium or whatever and then we go back to the other facility where they came from you know where they train um so quinlan is here um and he says your training didn't give me uh or this Wu says your training didn't give me my natural curiosity quinlan and anyway wasn't one of those reasons we were sent there to be curious yes to be curious and deal with it deal with a problem all right so it's all you know, it's, it has an agenda, right? So instead of Quinlan sending these kids here to have some fun and unwind and relax because of the dangers that they are going through, it was all a ruse. And, yeah, basically, he's a dick and he sent them to, well, maybe they're deaths. I'm not entirely sure because this girl is pretty upset about someone, but we don't see it yet. So one of the new guys comes, and he was the new guy in issue one, and then... She says, you look terrible. What happened? What happened? We forgot we ain't nothing but lab wraps, Isaac. And let's ourselves believe Quindle had really sent us off on vacation. I, I don't understand. Did something go wrong at Wonderland? You might say that. What the heck? I already told this to Quinlan. I can tell it to you. So she's going to explain again. And I believe she, yeah, he likes her, but I'm not entirely sure. So we go back to Wonderland. And I am... Um, these characters that normally you would think these are actors and, you know, donning costumes just in Disneyland or Universal. Now, it seems that these are real. And um, they say, oh, what? run, run, the giant is coming. Fear not, friend. The tailor will save us. He's the greatest giant killer of all. All right. So this is the giant and he's coming around the corner. And then... Um, Everybody's running away, but also standing still to watch what's happening. So the tailor comes out and he has some threats and he blocks this path of this um, giant. The giant falls. He goes up there and uh, he actually kills them. And so um, he said, dude, he's not going to. He did. The blood looks real. And they're all looking away or in disgust. So um, and then we see Mother Goose in this Wonderland facility. So we have another guy, I believe like Quinlan, could be wrong, but it's, you know, they, have, they look a little, except for the hair, look a little bit like each other. Um, and she says, this is not what I hired you for, Mr. Meehan, isn't it? According to the terms of our contract, my job is to maximize the profit potential of Wonderland. The million dollar baits was only set to trap. This makes sure people leave satisfied and eager to tell all their friends to come here. But I never agreed to do this, not to the murder of my children. Get a grab, Abby. Except for the hired staff, those things are all genetically engineered clones. They have no rights on the law in a herd, then a herd of beef. And uh, so then he pushes a button and she's, I don't know, unconscious? Does that mean she's a robot? Or maybe something implanted in her? I'm not entirely sure. Anyway, we'll leave it here for now. Uh, so the tale is getting a... Uh, a warm welcome or something. They're all celebrating that he killed the giant. And the, the girl says, that was totally gross. Are people supposed to be, to be entertained by that? And so they are being a little bit, you know, uh, herded away from the situation. And they don't trust it. So they go on the roofs to see what's going on. And um, so this guy says, I'm beginning to get a, a sinking feeling. A feeling that maybe Quinlan didn't send us here just for a vacation. What do you mean, dude? And then we see this giant getting towed away. Think it through, Alex. Our fairy guides were real, and the giant looks real. But if he was real, then the tailor really killed him. There you are, says the fairies. What are you up doing here, naughty naughty? So they realize that they are, you know, more um, spies. So they catch them and, you know, uh, put them in bags or something. And it says, what are we going to do now? What we are trained to do, uh, Dana, and start and to start with, that means, dun, 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 um, 
finding out what they are doing with the dead giant. So they're going somewhere behind the scenes and, you know, this whole wonderland now suddenly looks different. So they climb over um, this particular thing and they realize that this wall is constructed. It's not made for humans, but something to keep it, to, to keep something in. And they also see all this garbage and things are around here and it smells really bad, etc. And then they found some corpses human corpses and they found some IDs and they are, you know, a school ID. Whoever this was, this kid was only 15 years old. So this girl says, that's younger than me. Poe, let's get out of here. Yeah, let's call 911. But hey, the cell phone's dead. And so is my transponder. Uh-oh, that's bad news. So and then we have more fairy tale um, characters coming out of, you know, nowhere. And they see them as trespassers and wants to kill them. And uh, so um, they need to get out of here. And so he is getting a hunch that all is not well. No shit, Einstein. And uh, so another giant comes. So they are being, well, fleeing. And there's another wall. And um, so Alex is, is going up that wall. And um, yeah, he's going over it and... and he says, the other one says, Alex, no, look at the way the wall is shaped. That's another containment wall. And the creeps are, are holding back. And then, uh-oh. Oh, no. Alex, he's toast. He's burned alive. Almost nothing left. Because there's now a dragon that was on the other side of the wall. And he says, puny creatures, do you think you can deal with me? And that's the end of the issue. So where it... Ends is where it starts. I like that a lot, you know, because they are still being followed. And he's the dragon at the beginning. Pretty cool uh, and well done. I'm intrigued. I, I am, I'm liking this. I like this adventure style of, 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 of comics, you know, uh, in the DC uh, universe. It's great stuff. Guys, let me know what you think about it. And, uh, you yeah, know, leave a comment. I'll see you, of course, next time. Bye-bye.